a great day at work when a robot can hand you a file and you don't even have to move to do anything but this robot from universal robots can do much more than handing you a file or making you coffee or tending bar it can actually mimic a lot of hand motions and has a lot of applications for industrial and personal use so let's get the robot on the road and see what it's all about meet the ur5 no this is not a robot it is a cobot cobots are robots that collaborate with human beings to increase their efficiency coming all the way from denmark the ur5 robotic hand can mimic all the hand gestures of a human hand making for a lightweight aluminium robot that's too cool for school UR5 can not only make you a cup of coffee when you are feeling too lazy it can also be a bartender a photographer and an efficient helping hand in small scale manufacturing but wait there's more the ur5 can also be used to complete intrinsic medical procedures like neurosurgery now that is pretty neat coupled with the small controller box programming the ur5 is extremely simple and anybody can do it we spoke to the founder and cto of universal robots at their india launch for a quick demo of this cobotic wonder so I have Espen with me, who is the CTO and founder of Universal Robots, and he's going to give it, give us a small demo of this robot right here. But first of all, I'm going to ask you, what is the robot called? What is his name? So this robot is a UR5. So we have these robots in three sizes. We have the UR3, 5, and UR10, which is in based on how much they can lift. So that's the lifting capacity in kilos. Okay. Also, uh, you said that the UR5 is not a robot, it's a cobot. Could you explain uh, to our audiences what the difference between a robot and a cobot is? Yes. Yeah, so we took a slight twist to what a robot is. So a typical industrial robot is this big machine that's behind a fence that's stealing people jobs. Big heavy machine, very dangerous to people. So we wanted to take the robots out of the cage. We wanted to make robots more accessible to people. So this is what we call cobots, so collaborative robots. Robots are intended to work together with people to do the people's job. So you do need humans to work this robot, right? You that, that's the whole point. It's, it's not a machine in itself. It's actually a tool that people use to do their work more efficiently. All right. Could you show us a quick demo of the robot, please? Yes. Yeah, so I want to show you how to program the robot. And it's, uh -huh. it's done using this screen here. So we have a, a program here, well, the empty program and the program here. So you can navigate using these uh, arrows. Then if you go to the structure tab, you can see you can set in some commands for the robot. Here I put in a move command and now it's three waypoints. This way it's pretty easy to go to this screen where I can see the robot. So now I press these arrows, the robot over here is moving. So that's pretty simple. That's pretty simple. Or I can press a button here on the back of the screen. And when I do that, the robot becomes weightless. So it's in gravity compensation mode. And this way it's really easy to, to move it around. And so I can very quickly set some points. So let's say we wanted to go here and wanted to take the microphone. <laughs> so you're just creating a way path for it to move and it's going to do that? Exactly. So I'm actually finished programming now. So I can see here the how the program looks in, in graphics. I can run a simulated version of the program that I just made. Or we can try running it on the real robot. And when I press play here, the road will start to execute this program that was just made. So that seems uh, pretty simple. I mean, uh, could you tell us uh, how the robot is priced in India now that you've launched here? I mean, I know you guys were distributing here for two years, yes. but is there going to be a price difference? So what, are you, what kind of companies are you targeting? What kind of uh, customers are you targeting with the robot? So I can't, I think you need to talk to our Indian uh, sales responsible to, to get a good answer to these questions. But I can say that all over the world where we have sold the robots, we have er, managed to penetrate a lot of different market and a lot of different application areas. Uh, what is the most common application area that uh, you guys have been seeing? For so the most common application area is machine tending, where you have a CNC machine and the robot is taking parts in and out of the machine. So that's a, a very common application area, but we've seen them used in all sorts of different industries too. So you can't say that there is one application area that's, that's okay. really dominating. So, uh, you know, there's a lot of uh, talk about how robots are unsafe and, you know, we've mm -hmm. heard about uh, factory accidents happening yes. uh, in the Volkswagen factory. Uh, can you tell us how is this cobot different? How is it 
going to avoid any human casualties yes. in the future. So the program we just made is working right here next to me. So you see, if I stand in the way of the robot, it will actually stop instead of, so now it's, it's on a carpet, but it will actually stop instead of uh, injuring me. So okay. this means you can actually often work next to the robot and not risk losing your arm or your fingers to, to the robot. So does this detect that, you know, there's a human being standing in its way or is it just any object that's standing in its, its way? It's any unexpected resistance that it will detect and then stop. Okay, all right. And so, yeah. um, uh, can you talk a little bit more about the program? You said that, you know, the program is free for anybody to access, right? Um, yes, so the software is available on our website and can be downloaded. So you can try out things and you can start experimenting with making robot programs. Okay. And you're already working with uh, a couple of Indian companies, I believe. Uh, would it be possible for you to name some Indian companies that are using the cobot? So I'm not sure which companies I can name right now. I know uh, Pradeep has mentioned Bajaj. They're coming this evening also and giving a presentation on how they're using uh, the robots. Okay, so Bajaj is using the robot in manufacturing uh, uh, it's motorcycles? Yes, exactly. So they've been one of the very early adopters of this new technology. Okay. But believe there's a lot of potential also in India for this kind of technology. To be you know, you also mentioned during your presentation that you do need uh, a human to work this. And as more and more of these are adopted by an industry, mm -hmm. they hire more people. Mm -hmm. So it's actually raising the cost of uh, of an industry. Is it is it raising their overall, you know, well, they, they hire more people because they make more money, not because they need to hire more people. So it's making them more efficient? It's growing their business. So, so by using these kind of robots, we've seen that the businesses grow. So they may be more, they're more efficient, they make fewer quality problems, they get more out of the existing equipment they have because they use robots to automate their existing equipment. And thereby their turn turnover starts increases and they become ambitious. They hire more people to grow their business more. All right. Uh, what about globally? Can you name some uh, companies that you've been working with globally? Um, yes, so we have worked with a lot of big companies. I don't know what, which companies you want to no, hear. I'm, I'm, I'm talking about the automotive companies yeah, that you so say that the use case scenario is mostly in automotive. So, yeah, so I mean, we have, we have worked with more or less all automotive manufacturers. We have a particularly good uh, collaboration with BMW, which okay. has been using our robots for a long time now. So actually we have we have had a good collaboration with a lot of big automotive manufacturers over the years. Okay. All right. Thank you, Espen. Thanks a lot. So that was the Universal Cobot UR5, the robotic hand that can mimic all human hand actions. If you like this video, click on subscribe. If you don't like it, leave a comment and let us know how we can do better. This is Adamia signing out.